I know this might come as a surprise to a lot of you, but YouTube, the all-knowing, the all-seeing, the beautiful platform that it is, actually messed up again. And I know it's crazy because YouTube has never messed up in the entirety of its existence, but they actually messed up big time. Now that was a joke, just before anybody thinks I was being serious, it was a joke. YouTube cannot go three days without messing up. And if you don't know what it is this time, basically, Markiplier was part of this YouTube event called Game On, where it was like kind of like an interactive type series. For example, let's just for some odd reason say I was in it, and I was just playing some game, right? There could be like two options, you know, you could tell me to not jump off the cliff, or you could tell me to jump off the cliff to my death. And you could pick one of those and it would basically change the outcome of the video. So it's kind of like an interactive type series, kind of a cool idea, not gonna lie. But basically they messed up because Markiplier was supposed to be in this event. And he was all over the marketing. You know, YouTube used his face all over the marketing and planning for this video. However, they somehow screwed it all up by not placing his video in the timeline. So basically Markiplier was all over the advertising and he wasn't even in the video. They completely cut out his part. And you might be wondering, well, why did they do that? That seems like a pretty unintelligent thing to do. And I'll tell you why. If you've been on YouTube in the past like three, four days, you probably heard of the Corey Kenshin situation. And I was gonna make a whole different video on that, but everything that I have to say has basically already been said. I mean, YouTube's fucked up. Clearly some people have priority or the rules apply differently to them. I mean, I feel like we all already knew this, but you know, this just basically confirms that once again. And I'll just go over that situation real quick. But basically, Corey Kenshin uploaded this video, The Mortuary Assistant. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically a game where you're like a mortuary assistant and you're like dispelling demons. But basically there was this part in the video and Corey Kenshin's video got demonetized and he looked into it more and found that Markiplier had the exact same part in his video and it did not get demonetized. And you might be wondering, huh, that's pretty fucked up. And Corey thought the exact same thing. He ended up showing that part in Markiplier's video to his YouTube assistant, who then who then relayed that information up to, I don't know who at YouTube, I don't know, fucking Susan Wojcicki, I have no idea. The demonetization and the age restriction ended up getting lifted from Corey's video, and the situation was settled. So you thought, because YouTube, like we said, is a fucking stupid platform in the sense that they actually cannot stop themselves from messing up. They're like the Warriors when they're up three to one in a series, they're trying to lose at that point. So basically a few days later, Corey's video got re-age restricted and Markiplier's was fine. And Markiplier being the absolute alpha Chad that he is, ended up making a video called Try Not To Get Age Restricted Challenge, where he was basically role playing as Deshaun Watson in massage parlors. I mean, I can't really say much more than that. If you get the reference, you know what I'm talking about then. But basically, he was playing some not PG games on a PG site. And I'll, t I'll give you a few options as to what happened with that video. A. It got demonetized, it got age restricted as it should have been. B. The people at YouTube started making out with each other on the mouth after seeing this video because of how great it was. Or C. Uh, nothing. And I'll give you a few seconds. Actually, no I'm not because you already know the answer. It was C. Nothing happened. But the video is off the rails. It is quite wonky. And it didn't get demonetized. He basically proved that he gets special treatment from YouTube. And it's not Markiplier's fault. Markiplier's dope. Some people just, the rules don't apply to them as much. And Markiplier is one of those people. And he basically literally proved that by uploading it. Because he knew it wasn't going to get demonetized. He absolutely 200 IQ'd YouTube. And basically showed how, how flawed YouTube is because of the people that work there. And so then the next day comes where, his, where he's supposed to be on this Game On event and like I said, they ended up cutting his content or his part of the video. And it's because he made that video basically exposing YouTube. You know, a lot of people with these really big platforms on YouTube are the ones that are supposed to be talking to YouTube, basically saying, hey, you, you know, you're not doing it right. You're not doing this right. The YouTube community is not happy with you guys. Fix your shit. But if someone as big as Markiplier, who has 33 and a half million subscribers, and is one of the most successful YouTubers to ever touch this platform, ended up getting mistreated by YouTube because he said that their platform is uh, not well ran, and he basically proved it by uploading a softcore porn video. And that just proves that uh, YouTube, YouTube is completely tone deaf to what is going on. It's just a shame because if YouTube had any competition, they wouldn't be doing this. Whenever YouTube screws up, you just gotta deal with it. 
and it happens with some people more than others, like Corey, for example. There's no reason why Markiplier's video is still monetized and Corey's isn't. There's no reason for that. It's quite literally the exact same part, except it's just a different person in the video, Corey and Markiplier. And like I said, Markiplier's content was cut from that game on event and he ended up posting it on his channel and uh, it's been up for a day and has already over 2 million views. You know, go figure. And Markiplier's part is kind of like an interactive analog horror type series. And it was, it's pretty cool. Uh, it should have been cut though, I can tell you that. But just because he spoke up against YouTube, he got smited to the ground and got his content removed from the video. Uh, pretty ridiculous on YouTube's part. Anybody speaks up against you, just smite him down and act like you never saw it. You know, it's just kind of crazy because whenever something like big on YouTube comes up, like Corey Kenshin's uh, wrongful demonetization and age restriction, like whenever stuff like that comes up, Markiplier is always just dragged into this. And I mean, it's not like a bad thing because Markiplier handles it like an absolute fucking champ. Like there was a situation a long time ago where Critical uploaded a video of like this clearly staged and fake fight happening in the street and his video got demonetized. And then he made a video saying that, hey, Markiplier uploaded the exact same thing and Markiplier's is completely fine. And Markiplier even said like, hey, that, like, if his got a strike, where's mine? And YouTube ended up striking him instead of just removing the strikes off of both of their channels, which makes no sense. Like when Corey mentioned Markiplier, like if you would have named any other person in that video, they could have just been like, oh, I didn't see that. Or like, hey, I've, I'm not gonna address this. But Markiplier took it head on and was like, all right, let's see what kind of special treatment my channel gets. And he ended up uploading something that you could find easily on the hub and it wasn't demonetized. So Markiplier, absolute legend, handled shit like a fucking champ and basically proved once again that YouTube is a very flawed and they don't enforce the rules properly across all creators. But, you know, sadly we've known this for years and it just keep, it keeps getting worse. But since YouTube has quite literally zero competition, they don't have to do anything about it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically all I got. Uh, you know, if you enjoyed the video, you can press the buttons that help on my channel. You, you know what buttons those are. I'm not going to tell you to press them, but you can do what you want. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.